Curious about how you can achieve smooth, natural-looking, long-lasting filler results? The Juvederm Collection of Fillers has six unique gel fillers that add subtle volume and are designed for different needs in specific areas of the face, like lips, cheeks, chin, smile lines, under eyes, and jawline. Ask your licensed specialist for a full face assessment today and download the Alley app. That's A-L-L-E, the official loyalty program of Juvederm, to save on treatments and get a look that's true to you. For important safety information and to find a licensed specialist, visit Juvederm.com. That's J-U-V-E-D-E-R-M.com. Not for people with severe allergic reactions, allergies to lidocaine, or the proteins used in Juvederm. Common side effects include injection site redness, swelling, pain, tenderness, firmness, lumps, bumps, bruising, discoloration, or itching. There's a risk of unintentional injection into a blood vessel, which can cause vision abnormalities, blindness, stroke, temporary scabs, or scarring. Talk to a licensed specialist to find out if it's right for you. Now, from New York City to the world, it's Dominic Carter. And uh, good afternoon, everyone. The accused Trump gunman hid in his sniper's nest for nearly 12 hours before he was spotted by the Secret Service. Dominic Carter here with you, and this is your hour to sound off on your emotions as it relates to the second attempt on the life of former President Donald Trump. Your hour, and coming up at 50, about 50 minutes past the hour, we will be joined by Curtis Lewa. The alleged shooter mounted a GoPro on the fence and was intent on filming, on filming what have been what would have been the murder of a former president officials say the martin county sheriff william snyder described the suspect as having a calm demeanor after being apprehended by law enforcement i want you to hear what the suspect had to say this is an interview that he did with Newsweek, uh, one one in the uh, one in a foreign country, and this is what he said in support of Ukraine, almost breaking down in tears himself. I think more emotional for me is also is just talking to the guys that have come here. You know, when you talk to a twenty year old guy that sold everything he owns to come here and fight, that is heroism. You know, he's coming here to risk his life for humanity. For the Ukrainians, you know, guys that sell everything they own to come here and support the Ukrainians while others sit at home and 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 do nothing. The dude is absolutely nuts. That's the only way to put this. A conviction for having a weapon of mass murder, a numerous arrest. And he came within 500 yards of the former president of the United States and the leading candidate in the race that will be decided in about seven and a half weeks. Unacceptable, unacceptable. Here's how this needs to be resolved. This is the answer to this situation. Effective immediately, immediately, Trump should no longer receive a Secret Service detail of a former president, which is much smaller. Trump should receive close to the detail of a sitting president. So in other words, the detail that President Biden has now, you have enough agents, that's the same detail that Trump should receive. Because after all, in the next seven and a half weeks, should he win the election as the president-elect, he will get that detail anyway as the president-elect. So why continue to take these chances with this man's life in this this situation? Let's uh, start with your telephone calls. Let's go to Rich, line one, White Plains. Rich, what's on your mind? Dominic, this is something Republicans can do that can totally drive home the point that Harris does not answer questions. They should get a bunch of diehard Democratic voters that didn't see any interviews or the debates. They should play her answers first, let them think about what the question is, and then 
when you play the question, you realize she didn't answer the question. For instance, in that interview. Rich, Rich, Rich. But right now we're talking about the assassination attempt. And you could put those voters in front of whoever you want. Uh, many of them, loyal Democrats, all they see is that she is not Donald Trump. End of story. They're not using uh, uh, reason for, uh, if they were using reason, and uh, thank you for the call, Rich, if they were using reason, there is no way that Kamala Harris would be as close as she is in this race. Let's go to Iwaldo, Iwaldo in uh, Tampa, Florida. Uh, what's on your mind this afternoon? Yeah, Dominic, uh, this thing hasn't been brought up, at least not from what I've been listening to, but uh, maybe you can correct me. Uh, Christopher Ray from the FBI, he should be fired automatically. What What does uh, the FBI have to do with this? Well, I think this is somebody who also is, uh, as far as also provides some, in some capacity, security and intelligence on what's happening around politicians. So, right, but but it's but it's solely the duty of the Secret Service uh, to protect uh, former presidents and dignitaries. The FBI has nothing to do with that. Yeah, well, that's my recommendation, but you know. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for the call. Let's go to Robert on Long Island. Good afternoon, Robert. What's on your mind? Good afternoon, Dominic. Thank you, Secret Service agent, for saving Trump's life. Averting a national disaster, doing a good job, being observant, and responding to the threat. Well, there's no doubt about it that that agent responded to the threat, and we should all be thankful for what that agent did. But the bottom line, at the end of the day, Trump needs a full, I mean, how many attempts is it going to take to understand how many attempts on his life, thank you for the call, Robert, is it going to take to realize that this is serious business and there are a lot of people that want him gone? And don't tell me that the Democrats, that their hands are clean with this. Don't don't dare insult Trump or me or the audience that way. It's Democrats, the Biden campaign, from uh, from day one of the campaign that said Trump is a threat to democracy. Remember that from day one of the campaign. Remember all the comparisons to Hitler during Trump's trial in New York. Remember when when uh, uh, full page ads and so on comparing him down the line to Hitler. So don't tell me that Democrats that their hands are clean here. And let's keep in mind if you want to say rhetoric on both sides led to this. Okay, whatever. But the fact of the matter is there's only one candidate ducking bullets, and that's Donald Trump. Cynthia, Uniondale, Long Island, what's on your mind? I'm 100% with you, what you just said. It's Democratic rhetoric. They haven't stopped since he started. They want him gone, and they're not going to stop. So I agree this is, so, uh, the security should be uh, built up. And also, I'm saying they, had, they saw that that guy was pointing a gun at the Secret Service. Maybe he was going to knock off Secret Service and then go after our dear, beloved Donald Trump. Well, wait, Cynthia. He wasn't pointing the gun at Secret Service. The agent noticed the gun was was pointing was pointing out. So, but but he, no matter how you slice this, Cynthia, the fact of the matter is, the president would have been uh, within eyesight of this shooter, the former president, and it could have been. An absolute disaster. Thank you. Thank you for the call. Let's go to Angela in Mineola. Angela, what's on your mind? Hi, Dominic. I love you. I love Donald Trump. I really, truly believe right back at that you. these, I call them dumbocrats, and I really think they're up to no good. They're evil, and they want to harm the president. Why would they want to harm him? He's trying to make right in our country. He's trying to do everything the right way. Even his... um. Even when his uh, debate, he spoke the utmost truth. I don't understand how how the evilness in these Democrats are. They ought to burn in hell. And I mean, I'm tired of this poor man being tortured by the attempt assassination. Shame on them. Whoever's the Democrat, you better think twice and vote red all the way. And if, if you see President Trump, if you hear from him, tell him Angela and Tim from Mineola love him with all heart and soul. 
Well, That's there, all I gotta say. There are a lot of people that love Mr. Trump, Angela, and uh, it, it's really sad that that this is happening. And and I w- I want to say this, folks, right? So every time this happens, this man has children. This man has grandchildren. His grand granddaughter Kai. She's going to the University of uh, Miami to play golf. His son, his son, Trump's son, going to NYU. Melania Trump, his other sons, his daughter in Florida, his son-in-law in Florida. They've got to read these headlines when the information, when the information comes across. And so people like, and, and in fairness, uh, Don Lemon, uh, he reacted this way prior to the second attempt on, on Trump's life. Uh, when Melania Trump was online and, you know, and uh, and she's discussing how she felt as Mr. Trump's wife with, with not knowing if her husband was going to be OK, Don Lemon, and this is before the shooting, is standing there rolling his eyes. Now, he, he pulled it down. It's disgusting. You have sick puppies out here, Don. You know that. That's why I try to use my words carefully. I don't like to speculate. There are some sick puppies out there. And prior to this second attempt, Melania Melania Trump posted this online. Remember, this is prior to the second attempt on his life. Remember, folks, the Secret Service raided raided Mar-a-Lago, her personal belongings, and Trump's uh, residence. And this is what she posted online. This is before this second attempt. I never imagined my privacy would be invaded by the government here in America. The FBI raided my home in Florida and searched through my personal belongings. This is not just my story. It serves as a warning to all Americans. A reminder that our freedom and rights must be respected. Freedoms and rights must be respected. Indeed. And then something like this happens where this uh, this uh, madman, 58 year old madman and online, he was using nearly identical language that President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris have used about the ex-president reportedly posting a threat to American democracy if he retakes the uh, White House. Discovered hiding in the bushes near Trump's golf course as Trump played around. And authorities discovered a tactical rifle, a scope, and a GoPro camera. Trump sent out a statement to his supporters after the report that he was safe, safe and sound. And this, 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 whatever you call him in 2002, Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, after he was found, he was convicted, found with a weapon of mass death and destruction. So he voted for Trump apparently in 2016, but turned on him after the January 6 riots, among other things. And uh, he eventually began to support the Biden Harris ticket, which he endorsed with a bumper sticker on his white pickup truck at his Hawaii home. And he also made donations to uh, Democrats, and he was brought into court today shackled. And I wish there was more they could have done uh, to him to send a message that uh, that his life is over as he knows it, thanks to a uh, quick-thinking Secret Service agent. Trump deserves the same. De- I know it would be unprecedented. He deserves the same detail just about that Biden has. Biden only has a few more months left in office. If I'm right and Trump wins the election, effective November 5th, 6th, he's the president-elect. He needs the same Secret Service detail as the sitting president of the United States. This is Dominic Carter. Curious 
about how you can achieve smooth, natural-looking, long-lasting filler results? The Juvederm Collection of Fillers has six unique gel fillers that add subtle volume and are designed for different needs in specific areas of the face, like lips, cheeks, chin, smile lines, under eyes, and jawline. Ask your licensed specialist for a full face assessment today and download the Ali app. That's A-L-L-E, the official loyalty program of Juvederm, to save on treatments and get a look that's true to you. For important safety information and to find a licensed specialist, visit Juvederm.com. That's J-U-V-E-D-E-R-M.com. Not for people with severe allergic reactions, allergies to lidocaine, or the proteins used in Juvederm. Common side effects include injection site redness, swelling, pain, tenderness, firmness, lumps, bumps, bruising, discoloration, or itching. There's a risk of unintentional injection into a blood vessel, which can cause vision abnormalities, blindness, stroke, temporary scabs, or scarring. Talk to a licensed specialist to find out if it's right for you. Now, from New York City to the world, it's Dominic Carter. President Trump is unharmed and reportedly back at his Mar-a-Lago estate after today's incident. And it appears that preventing the assassination attempt quickly and arresting the person allegedly responsible came down to a sharp-eyed Secret Service agent and a diligent witness. It was about 1.30 Sunday afternoon when President Trump was golfing at his West Palm Beach golf course. Per a Secret Service protocol, there was a Secret Service agent one or two holes ahead of him scouting the area for security. And that Secret Service agent apparently saw someone in the bushes with a rifle. And we are back and I'm returning immediately to your calls on this Monday afternoon. Let's go to Frank Line 1, Bayville. Frank, what's on your mind? Hey, uh, Dominic, thanks for taking my call. Well, um, everyone's talking about who's guilty for what's happened to President Trump. I mean, we're not really surprised at another assassination attempt. This guy, they don't want him in office. But I just want to remind everybody, um, the media, uh, Hollywood, Holly Weird, if you will, um, these people have been talking negatively about this president for the past eight years. I, I've written down a couple of uh, quotes I'd like to read off to you. It, it's got to uh, be Niro quick. I, Frank, Frank, I don't have time for you to read something forever. It's got to be quick. Okay, Go okay. ahead. I just want to remind everyone, remember when Kathy Griffin, the not-so-funny redhead, was holding the, the, the severed head of, the head of Trump, you know, as art? They also did a whole play about assassinating the president, okay? Um, they, they programmed the— I, I don't, I don't recall the play, way, but, and I'm but, not go, surprised. I, I don't recall the play. I'm not saying that it didn't happen, but, but anyway, what else, Frank? i got to move on to other callers. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Madonna says that she's been thinking a lot about blowing up the White House. This is programming, Dominic. This is programming the herd to do the dirty work for them. Thank you. Thank you, Frank, for the uh, call. Let's now go to, let's see here, let's go to Ray on Long Island. Ray, what's on your mind? How you doing, Dominic? Great show. So here's my take. All the rhetoric that's going on with Senator Perlman and the Cheneys, it's coming from their mouths. They're saying... Donald Trump needs to be eliminated. I mean, how do they get away with saying that? They're encouraging what's going on right now. Unfortunately, because eliminated is is open to interpretation. That's unfortunately, that's why. Well, I got to say one more thing. I'm glad the Democratic Party left you. You're great. Well, thank you. And they, 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 you know, Ray, I almost said something I can get in trouble with uh, live. They, the Democratic Party left me a long, long time ago. I'm not one of these fools. Uh, with all due respect to all of our listeners, I'm not one of these fools that goes, Kamala Harris, she's African-American like me, and she's beautiful. <sighs> I'm voting for Kamala. No, no, no. I wasn't born yesterday or the day before that. You, I've got to look on paper of how you benefit me and my family. I've got to look on paper to make sure that you don't support migrants. Because after the election, don't complain to me. You, you want Kamala? You know she supports the migrants. Don't complain to me after Election Day because you have a very pretty president. And, oh, we made history. Kamala, Kamala. Well, can she say anything? No, Dominic. But she's pretty. Can she do anything? No, Dominic. She's pretty. We're coming right back. Now, 
From New York City to the world, it's Dominic Carter. We're told the suspect's name is Ryan Wesley Root, R-O-U-T-H. Not much more known about him at this time, except that he's the suspect currently in custody. Uh, right now, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office uh, says that he was taken into custody by the Martin County uh, Sheriff's Office, just the county north of Palm Beach, uh, was taken into custody after escaping the scene in his black SUV. According to the sheriff in Palm Beach, he did not make any sort of statement, initial statement when he was taken into custody. And we will get right back to the Trump situation in just a moment. And also Kamala Harris returning to herself. Did you see the word salad interview she did with an ABC affiliate in Philadelphia? Boy, she's got a thing for ABC. And the interviewer is someone I happen to know very, very well, Brian Taft. We worked together for many years. Uh, when I was at New York One, he was at the sister station. We co-moderated debates around the state. Uh, one in Ithaca, uh, I remember, that was held, I believe, by Cornell University. It was Cornell University. But I'm coming back to her word salad and the Trump situation in just a second. The big Tunnel to Towers Foundation walk run is coming up on Sunday, September 29th. And all of us here at Red Apple Audio Networks are encouraging you, our loyal listeners, to donate to our individual teams. That's right. You can go to walk.dominiccartershow.com and click on my picture to donate. Please help me raise the most money. We came in first place last year. We can do it again for the amazing Tunnel to Towers Foundation Walk Run. Let's never forget America's heroes and what they do for us. The Tunnel to Towers is near and dear to me. Let's raise some money. Please help our veterans for our first responders and 9-11 victims. That's walk.dominiccartershow.com. Click on my picture to donate. Every dollar helps. So going back to your telephone calls in just one second, one second, I want you to listen to this. So Brian Taff, right? We've known each other, I guess, maybe 20 years now. And uh, he's someone that's that's pretty good. And uh, he'll probably be going network uh, pretty soon. He's at the ABC affiliate in Philadelphia. So he travels to, I think it's pronounced Johnstown, right? And it's about, about three and a half hours uh, away from Philadelphia, and it's near where Flight 93, it's about 35 minutes from there, where Flight 93 went down. And so Kamala Harris is sitting down, (laughs) finally doing affiliate interviews, the one-on-one interviews. But even that's tricky because you've got five minutes and you've got to squeeze it all into five minutes, and she could respond one question for five minutes. I want you to listen to this. He asked, Brian asked her, and he's decent, he's good. He asked her to give specifics on the economy, right, on the economy, on how to make things better. And she's talking about how proud people are of their lawn. When we talk about bringing down prices and making life more affordable for people, what are one or two specific things you have in mind for that? Well, I'll start with this. I grew up a middle class kid. My mother raised my sister and me. She worked very hard. Um, She was able to finally save up enough money to buy our first house when I was a teenager. Um, I grew up in a community of hardworking people, you know, construction workers and nurses and teachers. And I try to explain to some people who may not have had the same experience, you know, if, if, but a lot of people will relate to this. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood of folks who were very proud of their lawn, you know? And, um, and I was raised to believe and to know that all people deserve dignity. Very proud of their lawn. And you know what I just noticed, folks, just like the Midnight Show this morning. Where are all the Trump haters this afternoon? Oh, you got laryngitis? The crickets got your tongue? Oh, because there's a second attempt on his life. You don't have anything to say now. Where are you? Where are you, Trump haters that call up here? Dominic, yeah, you you sold out, Dominic. Uh, Dominic, 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 are you black, Dominic? 
That's what it sounds like to me. Just so that you know, it's conversation. And when I leave here, I go on with my day. I get my lunch. I get my dinner. And it's on with my day. But we are you, Trump haters. You're not calling in today. Peter in Harlem. Peter, where are you, Peter? The guy in Melville. The other caller that happens to be African-American. Where are you today? I, I don't hear you. Where, where are you? Let's go to Kieran in the Yonkers, line three. What's on your mind? Dominic, I'm so happy to finally get through to you. Um, I'm just, I'm very happy uh, Donald survived again. I don't, I never heard of anybody, two assassination attempts. It's unbelievable. But uh, it just brings me back to a couple of weeks ago when Trump did the town hall with Sean Hannity. And he mentioned that he was going to release the videos from uh, the Epstein Islands. And I think that really uh, it has a lot of people worried. People in the, in the government, people in Hollywood, they don't want those tapes coming out. And he's got to get a tank. He's got to hire his own people to protect him. No one's going to protect him. We, we see what's going on in the FBI, the DOJ. They're all corrupt. But, but they, 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 they're they not all corrupt. He, his own people can't supersede the Secret Service. The Secret Service has the responsibility to protect dignitaries and the president. So th- that's not going to happen. No, no secret agency is going to replace the uh, the Secret Service. But thank you, thank you uh, so much for your call. Let's go to Rob on Long Island. Rob, what's on your mind? On your mind. <clears throat> hey, Dominic. Uh, I was actually calling about Taylor Swift um, advocating for Kamala. I would love someone to challenge Taylor to open up her portfolio of very expensive mansion properties to house illegal migrants and let her cover their costs. And also remind Taylor's uh, women uh, supporters that if you vote for Kamala, your boyfriends aren't going to have any money to go on a date. Well, she's wow. not She's not going to open up her homes, number one, uh, from Rhode Island to California, wherever they may be. And uh, and two, yeah, folks, come on. We, we, we have to see the politics of this. You have a black woman running for president, and that will help Taylor Swift sell a lot of records if she endorses the the black woman. And plus, it's cool. Kamala Harris is cool. She's the female Obama. She's going to make it all happen. She can't answer a sentence, but she's going to change the world. She's only been vice president for the last three and a half hours, but she is going to change the world. Putin, look out. Look out, here comes Kamala Harris. Let's go to Paul, Long Island. Paul, what's on your mind? Hey, Dominic, thank you. You were great at the White Soul Republican Club meeting last week. I well, saw you thank there. you, thank you. So kind of you to say that, Paul. What's on your mind? You mentioned that Kamala likes, seems to like ABC because she just did that latest word salad interview with the affiliate in Philadelphia. Her very good friend going back 30 years is Dana Walden. Dana Walden is the top TV executive for Disney, which, as you know, owns ABC. So that may explain the affinity. And the fact that the debate uh, co-moderator is a sorority sister of of the uh, vice president. You you cannot make this stuff up, Paul. You you know, you, you cannot. But, hey, none of it matters. You know why it doesn't matter? I got to be honest with you, Paul. You're not going to like this, but I have to be honest with you. None of it matters, none of the criticism, none of the legitimate criticism. It doesn't mean anything. The fact that Kamala can't get three words out, it means nothing. You know why? Because she is a black woman running for president. And everything else goes by, and a pretty black woman. And and the media has decided, Obama too, that they want to go. But I want to know, Paul, how is this going to work? Okay, she gets elected. Then what? Then what are you going to do? You, you you can't talk in her ear in every speech. What, what is she going to do at that point? She can't just smile and giggle or, to world lead. What are you going to do if she gets elected? What She's, am I going to do? I'm going to oppose her at every turn. Do whatever I can to oppose her. Well, there you go. There, there, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul, for the call. Let's go to Jim in Westchester County. Jim, what's on your mind? Hey, Dominic, longtime fan. I call myself a squash the squad Democrat. 
which is why a lot of people don't like me on either side. Let me say this honestly. I was appalled. I was horrified by what happened in, in Butler, Pennsylvania. Ironically, my mother's hometown, I used to say I was the only guy in Queens who ever heard of Butler until July 13th. But the thing is that there are a lot of us who have legitimate disputes with Trump, people who would gladly vote for John Kasich or Mitt Romney, who think the Democratic Party is tending too far too far left, who wish, like I said, I say about Trump, I want Trump, I wish the same thing for Trump as I do for all candidates. I want them all to die the same way, in bed of natural causes in their 90s without pain. But the thing is, you have to understand that comments, for example, when Trump said about, uh, what's her name, uh, about uh, Pence in, uh, in the book, in Maggie Haberman's book, perhaps Mike Pence should have been hanged. There are a lot of us who would be glad to vote for a sensible centrist Republican okay, like Mitt Romney. Okay, Connie. okay, okay, but you said that already, Jim. They got to just win the primary. You can't just say you want to vote for them. There's a process. They have to emerge victorious from the process. Uh, what, what you're giving me is a, a dollar and a dream. You but can't just say, I, go ahead, I would go be ahead. glad. I, I, I work for both Romney and but, Casey. Okay, but they can't win the nomination currently. We have to deal with reality. Which is why I had to vote for a Democrat. You vote for a Democrat over Trump? Definitely. Oh, no wow. Question. Okay, well, yeah, th- thank you for the call, Jim. Thank you for the call. Listen, I, I respect everyone's decision. I, I really do, whatever you decide to do. But I wa- where are the Trump haters? Where are they today? But what, what, uh, mommy, mommy got you in bed, giving you some milk, and you don't feel good. Uh, I mean, what, 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 what's going on, Trump haters? Where are you today? The man almost loses his life again because of your crazy rhetoric to go along with the White House rhetoric, and no one's, no one's, uh, no one's to be uh, found today. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Carmine in Melville. Carmine, what's on your mind? Hey, Dom, thank you. You know, Paul mentioned the Whitestone Republican Club, and in in conjunction with the Queen's Loud majority tonight at 6 o'clock, there is a Trump rally over at the Fort Totten uh, parking lot over the Clearview Expressway with a police escort. And we had over 150 people last week, uh, two weeks ago. So if people could get out of work, Dominic, they could come on down and join us over that bridge. It's epic. Okay, what's the point you want to make, Karma? Is there a point or you just want to promote your rally? I wanted permission to promote the rally, but also I think Trump should stay inside and not golf for the next 54 days, Dominic. Why that, does he just ridiculous. stay inside? That's what, would you stay inside under the pre- all the pressure he's under? Would you stay inside? Come on, man. Would you stay inside? You're running for president. You have all these pressures on you all day long, every day. You have, you have the, the Justice Department coming after you in a number of cases. You've got the DA and her boo down there in Atlanta, Georgia, trying to take Trump out. Would you be able to not play golf? I mean, he's not supposed to have any joy in his life? Come on, Carmine. What What are you thinking? Are you serious? It was just a thought, Dominic. There comes a point where you you tempt fate. I mean, it's putting you know, it's putting ideas in people's heads. Oh, well, we missed twice, so maybe maybe we'll try again. I don't like these memes of saying, "Oh, you missed me twice." It's tempting people. Right. I agree with you on that. And and they're disgusting. They're disgusting. But I also think it's, Carmine, with all due respect, I think it's disgusting to say, oh, Trump, don't play golf for the for the next two months. Come on, man. The pressure this man is under. Most of us would fold like a cheap suit if we were under the pressure that Trump is under. Let's go to Alex in Brooklyn. Line five. Alex, what's on your mind? Hey, Dominic. Thanks for taking the call. I want to comment about Barbara who called in yesterday because she was saying that Trump is responsible when things happen to him because of things that because he's a dividing person and the media is allowed to say what they want. About him. You know, I think the media is allowed to say that they don't like Trump. I think, you know, Democrats are even allowed to call him a threat to democracy. But the, when when you call him Hitler, uh, then you're really calling for someone to potentially assassinate Trump because Everyone could agree that that Hitler is someone that should have been killed. And when you lie about him, that's a different thing. You know, Trump calls Kamala Harris a threat to democracy, but that's he's allowed to say that. And if anything happens, and that's too bad because he's allowed to say what he believes is opinion. But when you lie and you say Trump said he's going to be a bloodbath, then then you bear responsibility for really for no reason inciting potentially someone trying to assassinate Trump. 
And I think that's where the media and the Democrats fear uh, responsibility for what happened yesterday, partly, and for what happened in Butler, Pennsylvania. And I also want to say about the Secret Service, Dominic, you know, uh, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, but two attempted assassinations in two months when Trump was in politics for over nine years now, uh, I think that begs the question. I, I'm sure people tried to kill Trump in, over the last nine years. Nobody got this close as these two people have. So I'm, I'm thinking uh, maybe the Secret Service let uh, someone get so close to killing Trump a second time now. Uh, the first time, obviously, they, they let it happen. The second time now they're doing it, even though it looks bad for them because people are, are asking really serious questions and looking down at the Secret Service. But but for them, it's worse to have Trump alive and have him in the White House again because he's going to expose the Secret Service and uncover the corruption in there and, and people are going to be held accountable. So they, they got to get rid of Trump before he gets into office. Well, I, I, I hear you, Alex. I don't even like to, uh, to talk that way in terms of... Uh what you just said as it relates to Trump. Uh, he's headed back to the White House. Hopefully the detail, thank you, Alex, for the call. Hopefully the Secret Service detail around him will double or triple. And it is a legitimate argument to say, okay, you don't have enough agents. Well, there should be drones. And I don't like to Monday morning quarterback law enforcement, but there should be drones, the very good drones they have that sweep the entire perimeter of the golf course, and he's not allowed to go out there until that perimeter is uh, is uh, checked. And so hopefully there won't be any more attempts. It's very, very sad. We are going to take a break. When we come back, Curtis Sliwa is going to join me. You surely don't want to miss that. And now... It's time for the Tunnel to Towers Foundation Final Thoughts. And folks, the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, the real deal, helping Americans, the bottom line. With me now, Curtis Lewa. Curtis, what's going on today? Oh, big time, big time. Apparently that security hole that the Secret Service has known about for years, that sniper boy was... uh, sitting in for 12 freaking hours in a lawn chair with an AK-47 with a six-pack like he was ready to wait to watch a football game. And apparently he was as close as 75 yards to where Donald Trump would have been if he were putting out on the fifth hole and going to the sixth uh, tee uh, to take his next tee shot. How the hell does a guy get positioned 12 hours in a makeshift sniper's nest right by the fence along a major thoroughfare like Summit Boulevard without it being checked. Now, is it confirmed he was in a lawn chair? Sitting there like he had the the, the whole day to just sit and wait. Now, how do we know it wasn't a, like, foresty area? And and there's going to be an update starting uh, in a few minutes, so we'll find out. But maybe he was camouflaged. I'm I'm just trying to figure out. Maybe he was camouflaged and hit. You mean in the like area. he was uh, deer hunting up in a tree, you know? And possibly, Dominic. It's another failure, massive failure. In just a few days, who's going to be in town tying our city streets up in knots, making it almost impossible to go to certain areas in Manhattan? The march of the dictators, tyrants, and despots from around the world, many of whom are the object of assassins from their own country. And we make sure they're taken care of. We make sure they got kumaras, prostitutes, food, booze, and not a hair on their head is harmed. We could do that for our enemies, but we can't do that for the former president of the United States because we won't. You see, we want, and what did Biden say? Well, maybe we need to get more Secret Service assigned to him. Die. Like, maybe you need to have an entire brigade of the military supporting this guy. How embarrassing this is for our country. Think of it. How embarrassing this is for our country and all the national security agencies, because I believe they want him dead. But increasingly, more people are saying, well, I understand the first time in Butler, but this time on his own golf course, 
through a security hole that the Secret Service has known about for years. Dominic, connect the dots here. They want him dead. I, I hear you, Curtis. It's such a serious, serious situation. Folks, all it takes is $11 a month. Donate $11 a month to the Tunnel to Towers Foundation at T2T.org. Stay tuned. Curtis Lee will have much more on this story. Janine Pirro here for Colonial Metals Group. Colonial Metals Group helps Americans protect their future with the most trusted store of wealth in human history, physical gold and silver. If you're retiring or retired, go to colonialmetalsgroup.com slash Pirro for your free Janine Pirro Colonial Metals Group Retirement Protection Kit or call 800-965-8004. 800-965-8004 now to receive a free home safe and up to 75 $500 in free silver.